So we had bad health. Three and one breaking down to a four. Somebody is stressed out. Mm -hmm. Somebody is stressed out. You know, they could be being haunted by the memories of you guys that you guys shared. This person's gonna be just all on their head, giving me like eight of swords energy. Somebody feels trapped in their head when it comes to you. Give me more Holy Spirit, thank you. We have mature men. So this could be an older man. Five um, on a card. So this could be somebody who you who, who you decided to release or let go of. But somebody, if you look at this mature man, you look at the light on the top. I feel like this person is enlightening who you are and what you mean to them in their life. Now this could have been someone who thought they knew it all as well too. Mm hmm. Mm. What's at the bottom? Privileged lady. Yeah, thoughts. I can't make it up. Message. Just somebody who's in their head about you. Privileged lady. Yeah, just somebody who wants to message you that thinks about you. Mm hmm. You're constantly in this person's head. Mature woman. Yeah, study well. Marriage. I can't make it up. This person sees you as their counterpart. This is somebody who sees you as like, you know, marriage material. You could have been married to this person, take it how it resonates. For others of you guys, I just see this person just feel like you're just the one for them. Give me one, Holy Spirit. Bad health, mature men. So we have house. House, it gives me like the four one celebration. Ooh, excuse me, stability. Somebody, this mature man also could see you as someone who's very stable as well. Yeah, a gift and journey. Yeah, there's an offer that this person wants to give you. This person sees you as the gift. This person sees you as the prize. Okay, this is somebody who wants to, who sees their life with you. With the journey of giving me like the three of wands. Somebody's looking at the bigger picture. Um... Somebody sees you in their future. You know, somebody feels like being with you is a prize. You know, somebody sees you as very stable, very solid. This is someone who wants to message you, but I feel like this person is just so, they so consumed by their thoughts in their head, and, you know, and just being in their head. And it's stressing this mature man out. We have wealthy man, toil you in labor, and marriage. So maybe this, this could be a wealthy man who works a lot, or who, who just works very hard. Or this could be a wealthy man with toil and labor who's working on their finances um, with the uh, marriage and sudden wealth. Okay, they could be working on their finances to bring you some type of offer. Okay? This person also going to feel like they don't have enough for you at this time. Yeah, and that could be also stressing this person out as well. Yeah, concern. It's like somebody knows, somebody knows they want to marry someone. They know they want to... You know, they see their they life with someone. They see someone as their everything. But somebody is concerned. Yeah, concerned in lovers. I can't make it up. Concerning lovers in pathway. Mm hmm This person could be facing some type of hardship when it comes to their finances or, you know, just feeling like they're not good enough. Mm hmm At this time, somebody feels like they're not good enough. I, I'm also hearing somebody feels like something is not fair. Look, sudden wealth and occupation. Somebody feels like something is not fair. So maybe whatever you do for work, um, you could be very abundant. Or this could be what's coming in for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody feels like, yeah, main female. Look, main female, main male. Message of concern. Somebody is concerned about whatever you do for work that, that you know, um, you know, maybe they don't have enough or, you know, this person could have went through like some type of, um, how you say, like a, um, some type of little, you know, pause or delay or relapse in, in a work situation. So maybe they don't have it right now, but this is somebody who wants to give you the world. You know, they want to give you the world. Somebody who, who wants to possibly buy you a house, you know, propose to you, just give you everything you deserve because that's how they feel about you. They feel like they, somebody sees you as everything and they want to give you that. But with the family room and change, it's giving me the family room and change. It's giving me, yeah, something, um, somebody is expecting something to change, Okay. 
but I feel like whoever this person is, they're moving in silence. Yeah, family room and change. I feel like whoever this person is, they they keep in they they um you know they keeping their plans and everything hidden. They're not telling nobody. They're keeping everything a secret because somebody's planning on changing something when it comes to you and um, their dynamic. Okay? Yeah, expectation and forced person. Yeah, forced person and community. Yeah, they're keeping everything hidden at this time because somebody knows it can either be somebody in their family or someone around them um, that could just be like nosy or just forced or they could just know that this person don't mean this connection well. So somebody just keeping they, they, everything hidden, courtship and child. Yeah, courtship and child. This could be a child mother of theirs or a child father of theirs. Think of how it resonates. Imprisonment and despair. I'm telling you, somebody's ca caught up all in their head. They in despair, okay? They could be having some type of legal issues with the courthouse, okay? Um, somebody could be threatening this person with legal issues, or this person just got a lot on their table right now. So this person knows, yeah, this was the bad house. Somebody is, is not, you know, they stressed out in their head. This person got a lot on their table, and this is somebody who's trying to move in silence, you know. And, and it is unfortunate, but because this person is truly in love with you, but they feel like right now, being that they got so much on their table, somebody feels like they can't. They either they can't or they don't want to bring that to you. Somebody feels like you don't deserve, you know, the stuff that the burdens that they have. Because possibly they probably know that, you know, I got myself in this situation. Why well, bring that to this innocent person, this privileged lady who I see as a gift, who as I see as innocent? Why bring them my burdens? High honor? Yeah, somebody sees you a high honor, mature woman, and privileged lady. This person puts you on put you on a pedestal. Okay, mature woman, no matter what age you are, somebody sees you as very mature. They put you in high honor, okay, with the um, previous lady. Somebody puts you on a pedestal. Thoughts and message. This person thinks about messaging you all the time, okay? Somebody with the marriage and toil you in labor, I feel like this person is working hard to give you a commitment. For others of you guys, it could be a karmic that's around this person that knows this person wants to come towards you and wants to end things with them. You know, and they possibly could be trying to, like, take this person for everything they got, their finances. And that could be the reason why this person is moving in silent. Because they don't want somebody to take, you know, the, you know, whatever little that they, they do got left. You know? So, let's see. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. Yeah, this person could be, like, in debt or something. They trying to get themselves out of it. But there's an energy around this person that wants to take or, or, or steal from this person. Or this doesn't want to see this person happy and prosperous with you. It's like somebody want to keep this person like in like a five of pinnacles energy, hardship, lack. To where like whatever they want to do, they, they, they want to make it hard so this person, don't, you know, they can't move on and come towards you and bring you this offer. Because the gift is like an ace of pinnacles with a journey. That's someone giving you an offer. You know who wanted, who who sees you who sees you um you know you both of you guys on a pathway of you know living your life you know being happy you know the journey like I said is giving me the three of wands like someone's taking action someone sees you in their future they so who this person is even if something is like delayed like the Knight of Pentacles is giving me or the Hangman like even if something is delayed somebody knows that it's not gonna be like this for long you know. But right now, the current energy is that this person really wants to be next to you. They want to be close to you. They want, they they want, you know, they 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 just want to be next to you. But right now, because they circumstances, they feel like they can't. And somebody feels like you don't deserve, you know, you don't deserve, um, you know. How can you say you don't deserve, you know, to like feel what they're going through right now? Even though you probably won't even judge this person, so see, maybe you might be very supportive. You could have been very supportive to this person, and this person could have pulled their energy back from you out of nowhere. Possibly could have been, you know, real mean, you know. But somebody sees you as a baby. <laughs> they see you as a baby. Somebody felt like. When it comes to like a, a new relationship or just starting brand new, this person sees that with you. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. What's this energy Holy Spirit I'm picking up on? Yeah, we have the high friend. And with this high friend, it's like somebody is thinking about a day in their head, they're thinking. 
Mm-hmm. This person could have dealt with like bad relationships. It doesn't just have to be like romantic. It could be like family members. Maybe this person is used to like people just doing them any type of way when it comes to them, you know, being in a commitment or just being loyal to whoever, you know, that's around them or whoever they consider family to them. Thank you, spirit. But somebody sees you as the right one. I'm having like right one, wrong time. Damn. Yeah, judgment to the empress. Somebody knows you for them. Judgment to the empress. Justice. Yeah, you. I cannot make it up. Justice to the lovers. Yeah. This person knows that you are the truth. Somebody knows you are the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The judgment to the empress. Somebody know you the one for them. <laughs> they just know. <clears throat> this could be somebody who overthinks a lot too. You know? Could be more Holy Spirit, the high strength Taurus energy. The shrimp card. Leo energy. Somebody could have been very controlling. Because I, I heard earlier with the mature man, like somebody thinks they know it all. Somebody, okay, so if this person was used to like, um, you know, certain type of, you know, connection, somebody is realizing that they can't control you. They can't control you, you know? Maybe there's somebody who's used to always like, you know, working really hard, um, you know, could be seeing wealthy mandatory and labor, working really hard, and whoever these people that they dealt with, they rely on them, they depend on them, you know, they don't have as much as this person have, but this person met they match with you. You got you got you 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 are very stable. You got your you got you got what you need. You know? You got what you need. You ain't lacking nothing. And because of that, this person hey, they can't control you. This is somebody who wanted to control you and they realize that they can't control you because you are their equal. You're not meant to be controlled by them. I can't make it up the emperor to the higher friend again. Now look at this. This higher friend. This person got their hand over their head. They concerned about this relationship. So maybe this person was concerned about if you was the one, you know, and they could have really pulled back. Because if you look at this shrimp call, look how big this lion is over this woman. This woman looks scared. It's like somebody wanted to control you, and they couldn't. But if you look at this higher firm with the emperor, somebody knows that you're their wife. Okay? Spirit wife, spirit husband, take it how it resonates. But somebody knows, they know, but they could have been concerned about this connection because somebody really, they can't control you. They can't dominate you the way how they did others, you know? Mm. We got double Taurus out here, Aries out here, and Leo. What's this um, shrimp called, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. You could be a boss. You could be a leader. Okay? Yeah. But this is somebody who likes who like who, who likes charge. Knight of Cups. So this is somebody who wants to um, like I said, bring you a love offer. Um, but look, if you look at the Knight of Cups clarify with the shrimp, the shrimp, I feel like you may have turned your back. When you once was given to this connection, it's like if you look at the cup, they you pour it into your own mouth now. And you know, the Knight of Cups is usually like a feminine energy for me. But the Knight of Cups, I feel like now you're pouring into yourself. You know, you're pouring that love back into yourself. Where you once had one foot in this connection, you know, maybe, you know, you decided to focus on work and focus on self-love. And that is beautiful. You know, that is you standing in your power because somebody tried to overpower you and that just wasn't how it was going to go down. Yeah, page of cups. Somebody could be, you know, they want to apologize to you. This person could have been, this person could have lost a lot for what they did to you. The hermit, and that could be the, the hermit to the tower. Virgo, um, 
Scorpio energy, but <clears throat> somebody could be realizing that they could be getting some type of karma for how they did you. What's the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups, Holy Spirit. This person could feel like when you want was in, in, in this connection all the way, you could be deciding to turn your back and focus on you. And that scares this person. That worries this person. That's why you have to hide from with this person with their hand on top of the head. This It concerns them. That's, it has them in their thoughts. Like, if you still want this or not. The Knight of Cups was clarified with the towel. So something was a sudden change. The temperance. Yeah. Because something had to be balanced out. Mm-hmm. Somebody don't want you to give up on them. But I feel like you have you have to keep yourself steady at this time to, you know, to remain in this balanced energy. I also feel like this person is um trying to be patient. They feel like they gotta get themselves together. This person could definitely be going through or like um uh, with the tell what's the temper, that's a divine intervention. There's a transformation that's happening here. Okay. Maybe spirit is calling for you to, you know, pour into yourself right now because, you know, you know, everybody's learning a lesson here. This person is learning a lesson that they can't control anyone. Doesn't matter what you got, what you bring to the table, you treat people fairly. Okay? Because I feel like you're the type of person, if you if somebody has less to you, whether it's romantic, friendship, um, any type of relationship, you don't treat people, you know, any type of way, you know? The worldly things, you know, it, it, it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't, trip, you know, penetrate you. It doesn't do, it don't do that, you know? Just because what you have, you don't go around treating people, you know, any type of way. There's somebody who's learning a spiritual lesson. And I feel like your lesson here is to, you know, um, just know when to pull your energy back. Mm hmm You know, and pour into yourself. Confirmation. You're not over. You don't want to overly give yourself to somebody who drains you. King of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the page of swords. Something that this person's seeing is like it's scaring them. Something that they seeing is scaring them. So this person gonna feel like either you moving on, okay, you focusing on yourself, or you starting over. It's scaring them. The Star card. Yeah, the star card to the moon. Somebody feels like you're excited about something. It's like a thank you spirit. Well, this person wants to like feel your energy. I heard tap into your energy, so take that how it resonates. So when somebody wants to feel your energy, somebody feels like something is hidden. Something is hidden. Mm -hmm. King of Wands and it's draining this person out. King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. Look at the King of Wands. He looks drained. The Queen of Pentacles, this is you. Somebody feels like you're about to get some type of opportunity or some type of wish, and you're going to forget about them. That's how they feel. Well, with the tower, the temperance, two major arcanas, that's the divine intervention stepping in. Where you once was giving your, you know, cup to this person, it's like now you're pouring into yourself, and it, and, and it scares this person. King of Swords to the Fool. And this person lied to you in any type of way, they feel like a fool. Because usually the King of Swords have to sword up. This king, this sword is down. Okay? Gemini energy, Aquarius energy. Somebody is a liar or feel like a damn fool for lying to you. I feel like somebody could have, you know, told you that they was going to come through or things was going to be a certain way. But something, you know, it's just like this person just confused. Like, it's getting me confused. Let me get more Holy Spirit. Can I have a, um, a card in the tower? Somebody knows something feels so right, but it's just like they confuse, you know? And it could be that family room and change. Because the family room also could be the high priestess, okay? Secrets, intuition. Somebody could be like messing with somebody's head to confuse them about this connection with you. Yeah, judgment. Mm. And what's this? The death card, Scorpio energy, double Scorpio. So something is something is changing. There's somebody could definitely be going through a um a powerful ascension, awakening, a death and rebirth. 
So that also could be why something is could be, you know, is at a standstill at this time. Because there's a, somebody is a, going through going a situation, a powerful. You got four major arcanas, okay? The tower, the tempers, the death, the judgment. Yeah, somebody is going through a situation. Somebody, where somebody wants to feel like your energy or, because I heard earlier, tap into your energy, you know. Um, where somebody feel like they could feel you at, at once upon a time energetically, somebody can no longer do that. Because you're going through ascension. And for a lot of you guys, this ascension is about, you know, self-love. You know? You're ascending, you know, getting an alignment for the assignment. Yeah, can we call it on the on judgment? Yeah, somebody who wants to tap into your energy, they can't anymore because you're ascending. Judgment is clear for with the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, yeah. Something is taking off quickly. Mm-hmm. What's the Knight of Pentacles? And if you look at the Knight of Pentacles, it's like, you know, usually the Knight of Pentacles, this person sitting on a horse, but look how this person is like literally jumping off the horse. So when you once was like on a bandwagon with this person, supporting this person, helping this person, motivating this person. You pulled your energy back. You could have definitely took a leap of faith or you just jumped off the bed. You know, you, you, you just jumped off and just started loving on yourself. Yeah, the chariot. Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're moving forward. You're setting up boundaries with this person. It's like whoever this person is, they want you to realize that they really want you to stay. They want you. They they want you a part of their life. But this is somebody who can't, who's having a hard time verbally saying this to you because somebody feels like what well, they once could like predict or or knew how to get, you know what to say to you or, or or get close to you. They feel like they don't know. They don't. Somebody don't know how you how. This is somebody got to be very spiritual. Yeah, the high friend out here twice with the emperor. Like. Uh... This person don't know what's going on with you. They just know that it haven't been no contact with you guys. Um, you know, they see you moving on. They see you loving yourself. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Somebody feels like when they was once in control, okay, with the strength card, the way how this person is just like, oh, over this woman, and she looks so scared. It's like when somebody once was in control, they feel like they don't have control anymore. And somebody feels like, with the Knight of Pentacles, the way how your back turns throwing a cup in your mouth, it's like somebody feels like you're leaving them. You're leaving them. You're loving on yourself. Somebody knows what they was doing was not right. The fool card to the judgment. They could definitely be under judgment. Somebody don't want you to leave. The Knight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Knight of Pentacles, energy. Thank you. King of Wands. Now that you're getting away, this person wants to come and take action. Yeah, they want something to change. They want something to change. Yeah, somebody is not trying to let you lead them. When it was one slow, when it was takes, it's like somebody is like, hell no. Yeah, the Empress to the Queen of Wands, look at you. Oh my goodness, you look so beautiful. Empress to the Queen of Wands. I'm fine. You know my cards be little rain. <laughs> look how beautiful you look. You're confident. You and your divine feminine energy. That's what I'm saying. This person was trying to control somebody who's their equal. The Empress. Look, Queen of Cups. Wow, Queen of Cups out here twice. Damn, so you love it, love it, love it. With the Star card? So there's some type of wish that's coming in for you. You feel free. Wow. Very confident. Yeah. And whoever this, whoever this lie was that tried to control you, 
they going a little, they going a little cuckoo on the head. Okay. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. Scorpio I hit three times. Leo energy, Taurus, Aries. Give me a card on the King of Wands. Somebody feels like if you take your love away from them and go and, and, and give it to someone else, or by you pouring it to yourself, it's literally got somebody going crazy. I'm telling you, what's the King of Wands? King of Wands is clarified with the Knight of Wands. The Empress. This person didn't take action towards you. They didn't. What's the Knight of Wands? It's like somebody wanted to tame somebody that wasn't meant to be tamed. They were just a sweetheart. They were just very genuine. They, they was the gift the whole time. You know? The Knight of Wands is clarified with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is you not not giving, like, where you once was emotionally available to this person, you're no longer emotionally available to this person. And this person is looking like, look at the Knight of Wands, like, <laughs> this person is looking like, where you at? Where you at? Where you going? You know? Where you going? Because I ain't getting your love no more. Where you at? Who you talking to? Who, who you with? Because you ain't pouring into me anymore. You know? Yeah, Queen of Cups to the star. Yeah. With that, the, see, that's the whole thing. Queen, the, you, when you once was given to this person, you was giving love and your attention to this person. The Queen of Cups to the star, you poured that into yourself. Somebody feels like they looking real crazy now. They looking real, yeah, justice. Because something needed to be made fair. That is their karma, the magician to the sun. Okay? Something that you're manifesting, okay? Or something you have manifested with the page of swords. Somebody is seeing that you're happy. Somebody feeling like, what, somebody could have thought that you was going to be like heartbroken after this breakup. Okay? You was going to be feeling down. King of swords and the up, with the sword upright. That's the truth. Somebody thought you was going to be down, but that's not where you at. No. You actually... You could be a, a, a very good alchemist. What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Somebody feel like things just don't feel the same. Yeah, the world card in reverse. This person feels like you guys have unfinished business. Or you could still have some type of ties with this person that's just not over yet. I feel like you, you know, you definitely could be going through a powerful ascension. The lovers to the hermit. The page of pentacles. Hmm. And this page of pentacles, this person has a pentacle between their legs. It's like somebody thought they had this lover wrapped around their fingers. They had a tie, you know, a, um, a hold on to you. Yeah, but with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is all about like, yeah, the Knight of Wands to the world card. Somebody Knight of Wands is someone who's free spirit. You know, you know, they move like they want to move, they go. And somebody who wants to control you. The Knight of Wands to the World Card, there's a cycle that is that is completed. Like somebody who they can't control you, they can't dominate you, they can't, they can't be like this. You know, if, if spirit is like, if they're not gonna treat you like they're equal, then they can't have you at all. No, spirits like they can't have you at all. So, like I said, this person is learning a lesson as well, you know? I feel like both of you guys is going through, like, uh, you know, a, a reaper. What's the Emperor Holy Spirit? Somebody just don't understand. Like, you're not to be controlled. You ain't no goddamn animal. The Page of Cups, the Emperor's clarified with the Page of Cups in reverse. So this person could be lacking inspiration, you know, lacking motivation, um, you know, not want to do anything, you know. 
Yeah, the emperor and, and the page of cups. Somebody also could be needed to heal some childhood wounds. This person could be a grown, like I said, with this mature man. I, I picked up on note with all. Somebody, they could look like a mature man or take care of an or mature woman on the outside, but this is somebody who needs to heal their inner child. How you, how you, the emperor clan file with the page of cups in reverse? Okay, somebody needs to heal their inner child. Let me get this card off the floor so I see. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that is the my booty booty. <laughs> okay, so the page of cups in reverse clear power with the king of cups. And look at this king of cups. Head down, cup down. Like, somebody don't know what to do. Yeah, this person, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody needs to heal. They can't, but this somebody who, damn, but how you do that to someone? They loving, they caring, they nurturing. But you intimidated because they're confident, because they're whole, because they know how to set boundaries, they know their worth. Somebody can control you. And now they're in regret. They don't feel, you know, inspired and more. It's like I picked up earlier that somebody feels like you're their everything. It's like you motivate them, you're there for them. Like you just have the right words. Like you was a good help to this person, but they treated you poorly. And it really bothers this King of Cups. Look how this King of Cups with his hand over his head. Life can really feel like it's taking a toll on this person without you. And now we have the King of Cups. Look, you know, look. Yeah, but who shall? Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody coming in quick. Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in quick. Yeah. Another Knight of Swords with a will of fortune to the Empress. <laughs> Somebody wants something to change. The will of fortune. Something was fading to change. Yeah. Yeah. Now this, yeah, this person, the page of cups to the queen of swords now. Now that you have set firm boundaries and, you know, standing your ground, somebody wants to apologize. Mm hmm Cause yeah, they feel like you guys got unfinished business. Somebody is learning a spiritual lesson. And you could be someone who's very spiritual. You know, this could be someone who's very traditional. You know, the, the woman listens to the man. The man makes more money than a woman. The, the woman obeys the man. And I mean, I don't know what they was used to before you, but ooh, they got a rude awakening. What's the, um, give me a card on the Empress. The Empress, the Empress, Empress, Empress. Thank you, Hope Spirit. Empress is clarified with the will of fortune. See, this person feels like you're getting good karma. Okay. Things are moving moving forward. And things will move forward for you and this person with the lovers. Okay. But there is a, ch a change that's happening. Somebody needs to heal their inner child. They look like a grown-ass person on the outside, but they really need to heal. What's the lovers? Gemini energy. What's the lovers? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The lovers is clarified with the Queen of Swords. <sighs> so you could be... The, somebody could be... So, okay... Somebody, okay, this person could be, um, this person could be keeping quiet. Maybe it, it, there was definitely, um, because we seen false person earlier with the high, um, uh, with the family room. Somebody has a person around them, okay, that could be trying to control this person, okay? And, you know, when it comes to making choices, when it comes to this connection, but with the Queen of Swords, usually Queen of Swords is up. This one is down. Somebody is realizing that somebody is a liar, you know? And they want this relationship with you, the Empress of the Will of Fortune, to the lovers. But somebody feels like they got to move in silence. Because if you look at this mirror, somebody's watching this person. They're keeping a close eye. And, and, and when I say a close eye, this could be somebody that's just very, I'm talking about very near this person. Near the death card, the empress, the justice to the star. Wow. Then things are about to be balanced out. Somebody also could be putting the um 
putting an end to like some type of healing when it comes to like the mommy issues. What's the Queen of Swords? What's this Queen of Swords that's a damn lion with the sword down? What's this Queen of Swords? King of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm telling you. Whoever this, look at the, look at the sword down. Look at the King of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, okay, maybe this person was married to this person. This could be a child mother of theirs. This could be their own mama. Take it how it resonates. But somebody sees this person as an emperor or king of pentacles. They know what this person here called for. Somebody know that this person needs some um some childhood um healing. Somebody knows that this person um, you know, they, they like it's like somebody knows like um a part of this person that that's how you say unhealed or um how can I say it? I know it's itching. Spirit. Thank you. Somebody knows that this knows this person's weakness and they play on that. And they know they somebody knows this person's secrets. They know this person's secrets. Mm-hmm. They know that. And they play on that. This person, the, the Empress of the King of Pinnacle, this person could be very wealthy, okay? Or have the potential to be very wealthy or will be very wealthy. And there's a Queen of Swords that's a liar that's playing on this person when it comes to this connection. But they're only using this person for money. The judgment to the hermit. Whoever this person is, they're going to be under judgment. What's the king of pentacles? Somebody knows that this person wants to offer you something to go on a journey with you. The knight of pentacles, yeah. <sighs> to the page of swords. It's like somebody trying to keep this person in fear. Somebody don't want somebody to see something, but they see it. The son to the lovers. Yeah. The son to the lovers. Somebody is used to unhealthy relationship. Liars. People lying to them. Whether it was their mama. Whether it was anybody. They was in a romantic relationship or friendship. Take it how it resonates. Somebody is used to liars. But somebody see with the lovers to the sun card, they can be happy with you. You know? And whoever this baby mama or mama is, they don't want something to change, it's changing. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. Look, and there's another sword that's down. And these could be their parents that was lying to them. Their parents that was projecting energy onto them. Another King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Moon card. I feel like with this person, does, like somebody... I, I feel like since this person was a child, people looked at this person like a, a, a meal ticket. Moon, the page of pentacles, to the king of pentacles. Like, they look at this person like as a meal ticket, you know? Like, what's in your wallet? What you could give to me? Somebody feels like um, people only could love them as much as they have in their wallet. Whoa. Thank you, spirit. Whoa, child. Somebody feels like they only could be loved as much as they have in their wallet until they ran through and came across somebody like you. And then you wasn't even about that. And it scared the hell out of this person. Okay? Mm, the death card, the empress. I'm telling you, there is a rebirth here. Somebody knows this person, either they secret or they weakness, and they play on that. And make them feel like they're not good enough. Because look at this page of swords. It's something that this person's seen. Or it's something that's frightening this person. And this could just be an a, 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 a inner demon. Because look at the sword down. It's not, it's not the truth. It's something that they it's something that they fear. It's something that they think is there, but it's really not there. Somebody could be painting like an illusion to confuse somebody. Or somebody could be attacking someone. Oh, child, we ain't gonna go. Ooh, ooh. Give me a card on the page of swords. <clears throat> the emperor. To the devil. <clears throat> Capricorn on um, energy. Somebody's controlling. Um, somebody. The Emperor to the Devil, that's a narcissist. Somebody could have been sending a tax to someone. Mm -hmm. They could have been trying to attack someone. 
something is not working because somebody's ascendant. Because I heard earlier somebody felt like they can't tap into someone's energy anymore. Knight of Cups to the Sun card to the Fool card. There's a leap of faith that you guys took. Mm -hmm. Somebody is realizing something. I feel like you showed this person the way. You freed this person without even knowing you freed this person. Give me a card on the arm, um, Devin. I feel like this was something that was taught to somebody. The devil is clarified with the chariot, cancer energy. <clears throat> this is you moving forward from this narcissist. I'm hearing into the hill. What's the chariot? Cancer energy. The magician in reverse. What's the magician in reverse? Yes. You see somebody as a manipulator. Yeah, Queen of Cups. The star card. And you know one thing about these narcissists, okay? You coming up as a queen of cups to the star, you are this person's wish. It's very, very healing. You're very inspirational. You have you come up as this motherly, the star to the, the queen of cups, you have this motherly love about you. Something about this person's childhood, something that they mother didn't give them, you come off as that. Empress out here twice, queen of cups out here twice, the star. You, you, you fill some type of void um, that, um, they mother didn't do when they when they was a child. And um when you felt like you was um you know getting less, you know, you know, when this person wasn't in more thank you spirit, when this person wasn't emotionally fulfilling you, um you had to set boundaries up with this person, you know? No matter how long you've been with this person, you had to set boundaries because something that they they, they mama did to them or something that was done to them in their childhood, they take that out on you. When they don't get their way, there's somebody who take that out on you. And there's somebody who don't take no accountability for their actions. None. None. Justice. Somebody, this is, they about to receive karma. For real. Things about to be balanced out. Yeah, somebody was trying to, the chariot to the magician, somebody was trying to manipulate you, you know, from your forward movements to keep you to stay in some type of narcissist, crazy-ass cycle that you don't have nothing to do with it. They mama do. They, they need to heal whatever happened to them as a child. But because you come off so motherly, and it's like, this person is so attracted to you. But if, like I always say, if you, if you ever want to starve a narcissist, take your energy back and, 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 and literally, they will feel like the whole world crumbling. You know? Anything that you don't want to, anything, you know, to kill anything, because we see the death out here twice. To kill anything, you need to starve it. Okay? Starve it. If you starve it, what, what else it got? And and, and and with the chariot to the magician, one thing about people like this that are, are, are manipulators, when they find out that they can't manipulate you or get over on you anymore, oh, who shall? Who shall? You know? Child. Yeah, they feel like this damn fool to the high priestess. I'm telling you, intuition on point. Okay? Like I said, I do feel like this person loves you. Yes, I do. But this person has got to go through some healing. They have to heal. It has to be an essential. What's the fool? What's the fool, Holy Spirit? What's the fool? I feel like you gave this person a feeling that they never even experienced. And it's sad because it's somebody that's right next to them and it, with that family room of change we seen earlier. Somebody very close to them, been lying to them, keeping them so they can have both parents that was lying to them all their goddamn life. Could have even got into relationships with people that lied to them, manipulated them, only kept them around because they knew what they could provide or they knew they seen the potential in this person. You you came with your own bag. You came whole to this whole connection. You were just trying to be your loving self. And this person literally... Like, whatever they was learned, they brought that over your way. Spirit was like, hell no, you got too much protection around you. The fool was clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody feels like a fool for either losing you or you walking away. Queen of Swords, you setting up these boundaries. And you got the Queen of Swords with the sword in the upright this time. Like, you know what you bring to the table, okay? You know. All right? You already know. 
Look at this. You already know. You didn't lack anything financially, mentally. Well, damn, official person, unexpected income, distant horizon. Whoever this person that's out in the cold, whoever this lover is, they ain't concerned. But they lost a real one. Yeah. And you could be possibly on a, you know, on another pathway to go a whole other direction. Judication of wealthy men. Somebody is definitely under under um in spiritual jail. Somebody is definitely spiritual court going on. Somebody's under judgment. Coffin, the thief. Coffin and deep. Something is coming to an end. Whether that person stole from you uh, financially, energetically, or anything, you about to get that back ten times fold. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. That's how the cookies crumble. The will of fortune. And look how this will of fortune is. Ooh, child. To the hermit. To the moon card. It's like somebody wanted... Wow, here we go. Here we go. I know damn well nobody was trying to do no destiny swap. So you could get their bad karma and they could, they could get your good karma. Oh, hell to the no. What's the moon for, Holy Spirit? Queen of Pentacles. What the moon to the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody was hiding that. Judgment to the world. The moon card on the, the world card. Something is over with. Whatever this, whatever this person trying to take advantage of you, this is over with. You a damn sweetheart. Something is coming to an end with this lying ass person. Yeah, you can't be tamed. This person studies you, they watch you like an open book. It's your innocence. It's like how you do what you do. Somebody, ooh, child. Mm. Let's get you guys some angel messages, because let's get up out of this energy. Yeah, something is, eh, 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 uh, 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 divine intervention stepped in, and the reason why is because somebody wasn't, that, it wasn't treating you right. That's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice. I don't know what kind of family they come from. Huh? Mm -mm. Somebody got some damn bad karma and they seeing you over here in this beautiful energy, but you did the healing. Somebody, what would you got? Yeah, balance and health. Something was not balanced out. Like somebody wanted to cause some type of imbalance in your life. Oh, hell no. Envy? Persevering, somebody envies you because you had the, you had the um, you had the willpower to keep going. Perseverance, I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Envy, oh lord, what's this perseverance and every Holy Spirit? Whoa, relationship and trust in reverse. Somebody that you were in a relationship with that you could not trust, they envy you for moving forward. Somebody feels like you left them behind. They did not. They wasn't even. This is somebody who did not. They were so mean. They didn't even care if they didn't feel they they wasn't fulfilling you your emotions and, and you know your needs. They was only worried about themselves. Okay, and somebody thought just because whatever time you have in with this person, you was going to stay and neglect yourself. No, 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 no. Adversity, adversity, imagination, surrender. I feel like you you definitely surrender and let go. Okay, yeah, help. Mm -mm. If somebody disturb your peace in any type of way, that's part of your wealth. You don't want no parts to that. Imagination and adversity. I feel like with the imagination and adversity, you was an alchemist. You transmuted that energy in, in, into something positive, into blessings, okay? You alchemized that energy. Yeah. Doubt? Somebody wanted you to doubt yourself? Nah, your abundance is yours. Somebody knows that you're an empath. Mm-mm. Nah, you ain't doubting yourself. Maybe, I, I mean, maybe for a little while, I was starting to see the damn magic, you know, maybe it did hit you a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. 
you know? But it wasn't nothing that was going to be too detrimental. I feel like spirit just, you know, part, that's part of, you know, part one of your upgrades, you know? How to, you know, protect yourself and, um, you know, so you could teach others, you know? So you could know the next time. But uh-uh, somebody envy you for, like, getting away. Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, do this person loves you? I know this is going to be like, so y'all going to be like, how, though, Mystic Sunflower? Yes, I think they love you. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I just think they got a messed up way of showing it. And I think they have some um, some childhood issues. I think they come from a narcissist mother, a narcissist father. I, I feel like they've been in relationships where they was able to dominate the person or control the person because they was the breadwinner. And when they met someone like you who was whole, who was healed, and have your own bag, which is your stability. And I won't even say heal because it, healing is never, ever done. Uh, there's always something you can find yourself to heal from. But I feel like and when it came to like childhood issues, you already healed that part of your life. Okay. When it comes to your stability, that part of your life is healed. Okay. You, you, you stable, whether you with a person or not, you can handle your own. Somebody's used to broken people or being surrounded by broken people and they ran into somebody that was whole that they couldn't control. So they, they, they felt like, well, damn, I'm getting all this calm and I got all this stuff going on in my life. And this person, they see your life like beautiful, you know, glimpse and glams. Like if you just woke up one day and it became like that. No, you, you, you transmuted that energy and you, and you, um, you know, you made it work for you, you know, your higher self. Somebody who, didn't, who don't want to do the hill and want your goddamn destiny. It don't work like that. Somebody is fully in a north node. Somebody wants to reap off of that. Spirit said, hell no. Nah. That's why the tower and the tempers came out. Divine intervention because it needs to be a balance here. Okay. I love you, Sun Seas. I hope this reading resonates. Um, I hope it gave you guys clarity to your situation. Anything you need to know about me? I love you, Sun Seas. We'll be in the description box. Let's see. Do we need anything else? Let's let's get one call. Let, let, let's see. Let's see. Listen, mentally, I'm exhausted from life right now. I told you, mentally, I'm, look, mentally, I'm exhausted from life right now. And they were trying to project that onto you. Somebody wants you, but you're not. You got good karma. Empress of the will of fortune. Somebody wants your life. I have to stop running away. I'm hurting. Give me one more Holy Spirit. Ooh, they don't want me to get that out. You are the greatest love that I ever known. I cannot make it up. You are the greatest. It says you are the greatest love I ever known. So spirit is like, why you? Why would? I, why would I let you? You know this. Your higher self know this. Why would I let you treat my baby like that? No, that's not fair. You gotta heal, brother, sister, whoever you are. I love you, sunsets.